Hello, good morning. How is everybody on this Saturday morning? I am coming to you um, after a really busy day yesterday. Uh, and now um, I have a, my youngest is sick and we are missing out on some things that were important for her at this last part of school. And my prayer for her, and if you will join me, is that she will get well, that she can travel. Um, next Thursday morning, um, yeah, next Thursday morning is when she leaves for France. And so some of you know about her going on a mission trip, and we just need the Lord to heal that girl. She just got a cold. So um, it's not too bad. Amen. So let's go back to Isaiah 61. Let's see, Isaiah 62, actually, where we left off yesterday. This is a really um, kind of like the definition of intercession for me. Let's read the first verse which it, that we left off on, which is 6. Jerusalem, I have stationed intercessors on your walls who will never be silent day or night. You reminders of Yahweh take no rest and tirelessly give God no rest till he firmly establishes Jerusalem and makes her the, the praise of all the earth. Um, I just wanted to say that uh, here in the notes, the reminder of Yahweh is called the rememberer. And an interceder, intercessor is someone that remembers God's promises and reminds God of his promises. And um, an intercessor is relentless, doesn't tire day or night, and um, kind of comes boldly as someone who knows that God is true to his word. And so they're not afraid to in, um, entreat the Lord of what he has already spoken because then they're lining up with heaven um, it's a place of maturity in God it's a place of faith and um, those of you who are called as intercessors this could be one of your life scriptures because um, I mean for me it is just like I said the definition of what it means to be an intercessor and in the scripture the notes here it says those who intercede continually remind God of his promises like it like a divine administrator we remind God of the promises and appointments he must keep how many of you have ever had a job where you have worked for someone and um, kept them um, on their schedule you know um, maybe pepper no no honey maybe um, kept them going to their meetings or making their phone calls. That's kind of like what this is, where you remind God, your father, remember, Lord, you told me this about um, a person or about a situation, and I'm just reminding you that you are true to your promises and true to your word. And um, it's not something that's done in pride, and it's not done in a haughty spirit. It's done in true humility as a son and a daughter of God. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Yahweh swears an oath by the authority of his right hand and by his mighty arm. I will never again give you the new grain as food for your enemies, nor will foreigners drink your new wine. Let me turn the page here. We're actually on page... 158 of the Passion Translation of the book of Isaiah, and this is the latest book that was um, translated out of the Bible, and it's, we're almost done, we have like three more chapters, that you worked hard to produce, instead you will harvest it, will eat it, and offer your praise to Yahweh, and you will gather the grapes and drink the new wine in my holy courts. Pass through pass through the gates and go from old to new. And I think this is something that we need to declare today. Lord, we declare that we are passing through, we are going from the old to new. And we say it twice, we are passing through, we are passing through, 
the gates and we are going from old to new. Prepare a new path for us, Lord. It says prepare a new path for the people. Build, build up a highway for them to come to me. Remove every hindrance and unfurl a banner for the nations. So um, let's see, verse 10 uh, the hindrance, remove every stone, is another word that could be there. And um, see, Yahweh has proclaimed to the ends of the earth, tell my daughter Zion, look, here comes your deliverer. See, he's bringing his reward and his recompense goes before him. They will be called his holy people, the redeemer of Yahweh, and you will be known as those whom God loves, a city not abandoned. Um, John identified himself as the one whom Jesus loved. And so we can, so I'm sorry, and so can we. So let's identify ourselves today as the one that the Lord loves and that we are a city, we are a people that are not abandoned, and that is who God has made us to be. So, um, yeah, don't <laughs> hesitate in, in speaking this out. I have not been abandoned, and I am the one that God loves. Uh, build yourself up in the Lord today. I know I need to do that. Um, and Lord, we just thank you for this Saturday, and we pray for the people. I just want to pray for the state of Texas and those people who are suffering with all of the rain and the extreme weather. In Jesus' name, God, we ask you to calm the rains down and calm the storm down. We remind you, as you said in this first verse that we read this morning, we remind you of how patiently you care for people to come back to you, Lord. We ask for the safety that those people need to get back to their loved ones, to get into higher ground, and we ask for the waters to recede and the rains to stop all through the states that it is traveling through. And we pray, Father, for your mercy, your mercy on their homes, on their businesses. We pray against the hail that is destroying the sides of buildings. We pray against all the things, Father, that want to discourage the farmers and the crops from growing. We ask Jesus that you would bring protection back into our atmosphere and that the weather would be protected, God. There would not be these big extremes anymore. And we, we also look over into the country of Mozambique today where it has just been continually raining and there is flooding for hundreds of thousands of people who are dying, who are um, no doubt becoming sick. Lord, we ask that you would give supernatural protection to the missionaries there who are with IRIS and other uh, missionary organizations and churches who are trying to feed the people, give them at least a meal a day, Father, until they get through this, God. Keep them, sustain them. Uh, bring your workers, bring your doctors, bring your nurses. Lord, we just pray for help. Bring the angels there, God. Dispatch your angels to protect even the, the feeblest, the oldest of old, the babies, the, the ones who cannot fend for themselves. Come now, Holy Spirit. Come now, Holy Spirit. Lord, we need you to cover the whole earth. We, we desperately need you to cover the, the whole earth. The whole earth is groaning. The whole earth. The whole earth needs you, God. There isn't a place on the planet that doesn't need to see Jesus in skin. So I pray for Christians all over the earth to replicate Jesus, to represent him right, to give us hearts of compassion and give us the words to speak of salvation to others. And Lord, inter intervene in all of these desperate situations throughout the earth. God, we know that there are Christians in Nigeria that are being slain, that there are churches being burned. We know, we see God in China, that Christians are being um, not allowed to worship you. Lord, all over the earth, we just pray for North Korea right now, where I read that there is a signal being developed where the gospel will be broadcast into North Korea. And so, Lord, we protect that radio signal. 
in the name of Jesus that it will not be blocked and that the people of North Korea will finally be able to hear the good news. And we say thank you, Lord. Everywhere that there is a person who has given up their livelihood and given up their home and given up everything that is uh, secure and safe and comforting and known to them to go out into a, a foreign land, we just cover the missionaries today even here in the United States. We just cover the whole whole work of YWAM, everywhere they are, Lord, everywhere YWAM is, Lord, we just say, come Holy Spirit and do a great work. Do a great work. And those that just graduated here in Reading from BSSM, send them out, Lord, with fire and with uh, perseverance and give them their assignments Lord, give them true, long, fulfilling, kingdom-bringing assignments in Jesus' name. Even if it's in the workplace, Lord, where so many people need to hear who you are, God, put them in the places that you have always wanted them to be. Establish them. Establish all of us, Lord. Establish our footing. Establish our footing. Shh, Pepper, no, no. Shh. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, take care today. Bye-bye. Have a good day.